Hey, everybody. Was at the store? Charlie. You gotta be too quiet on the Minecraft for a second. <laughs> Charlie's in here playing the Minecrafts. Um, I was at the store yesterday. Tournament. Awesome tournament. My list got totally destroyed, but I didn't bring a very crazy list or anything. I just was a fun thing. Um, so what happened is they had this on the shelf, and I couldn't help myself. The Sector Imperialist Objectives, and these looked really cool, and I was like, eh. So I couldn't help it. I got him. So, so let's see what's in the box. And I've been meaning to make objectives anyway that I can bring to games. And, of course, I was going to make crazy cool objectives. So uh, I get uh, some instructions in here. Let's see, so... See, it says uh, the field manicarium is the first thing. So let's look at the spurs. Let me see if we can get them up here and make sure the light is high enough. All right, so let's just look at the spurs. This is really cool. This sprue here, this clear plastic, is like I'm sure they mold this separately, and then this is molded so this can punch in. And you look at close up how it's put in there. See if you can see that. So that's really kind of cool and interesting they made it. So it's like part of the other sprue. It's kind of neat. Uh, looks like the um, Exterminatus Bomb. There's that Gene Stealer for the tank. What? Oh. <laughs> um, here's some of the ammo bins and the lids. Uh, this looks like tank. This is part of that communications tower thing. Orbital Vox Array. That's what that is. Got that on okay. there. It's the other side. Oh, I created So I'm going downstairs. Okay, you can go downstairs. Mommy's not here. No, nope, Mommy's not here right now. Um, Here's the, the drop pod. Is that what that is? Escape pod? Let's see what they call it. Um, Lucius Pattern Escape Pod. Yep, got that. Um, this is the back side of this, so let's look at the front. There's the two big bombs. Uh, underside of the escape pod. This is the, uh, what does they call this? Cogenator or something. Um, no, where is that? Is he to Let's see the... Oh, wait. There's a... Huh. There's no... What? Hold on, what? I got... This. Objectives, supply dump, which is the bomb, the drop pod thing, the escape pod, the xenostasis crypt, the some more of the supply dump, the vox ray, the field metacarium, but they don't mention the um, this thing is I think they called it a here it is administrative cognit cog cognitor display. So they don't mention that. Of course, I guess it's pretty easy to put together. It's just these two halves, so I guess don't need instructions, right? So I've got that. Um, there's this base. I'm not sure what this is for. Uh, might be part of the. What is that part of? Look at what we got here in the box. Uh, must be for the drop pod. It must be for the drop pod. Or I keep saying drop pod. It's escape pod. Must be for the escape pod, so let's just look at it close real quick, bouncing around. The cool thing is, you see this, remember this hole right here, but that hole, and this little part of the lamp right there, remember that, because we're going to look over here. Not only on the clear plastic part is there the clear piece that you're going to have to very carefully paint these right here on it for the uh, stasis tank thing. But right here is the clear windscreen that goes in that uh, escape pod. And then this is the bottom of the lamp uh, for the, the medical, medicarium droidy thingy, whatever. Uh, field medicarium for the lamp thing, the lamp part that's all part of that. So that's really interesting. Um, of course, those are definitely going to have to use plastic glue. So you don't uh, smoke them out with the super glue. That is going to be interesting right there. Very interesting. So cool stuff. Cool stuff. So I'm going to put these together at some point. I have been fiddling around here. I've got spare flooring pieces. Uh, old large bases that I've got. And I'm trying to get everything to be like a similar size profile. Uh, 
put these things together and see some stuff. I am going to be combining actually some of this with um, parts that I have already right here. Uh, right here is a. Um, these are the guys that go in the um, the, the little baby bird models. What is it? Where the, um, uh, the Stormhawks interceptors and such. Not. Uh, the first one I built, I built as the uh, one with the cover cockpit, so I have that guy. I had this guy. Like, uh, didn't need to put him in, so been sitting there like this. Not sure if I used the arms and such. And then um, I cut the other one out from the other one because I plan on building that as the covered one as well. So I had this sitting out here too because I was like, uh, I have a box of these extra guys and parts, and they were in there. So I'm thinking of using one of these guys, and I don't know if it will work. I guess I can test it now. Hey, got the box open. Mm, let's see. Put him down and lay down on that for the midfield metacari thing. And the body can. Yeah, look, that'll work. We just have to find a head. Yeah, that'll work. Look. Oh, it's probably too far away from you guys. Let's see. Close. Oh, yep. And then this kind of will sit up and glue there. So yeah, I can put that guy on there. Um, how about the escape pod? There's an H and an L, high, low. What's this say? O T, H L O and T on this. There's <laughs> H and L and O and a T on that tank. Interesting. I mean, that's probably probably some kind of like fuel or something. I don't know if this will fit in here. This looks its legs look a little spread out. No, he won't fit in there. No, man. If his legs weren't quite spread out, he'd fit like yep. But I guess I could put him like on the space. See that base of so that pod would be there, and he could be like off to the side, like he's. He's fallen out of it, kind of, might be, because i got two of them, so that might work. That'll probably how I'll go do. So this is going to be cool. I'm uh, pretty cool. Glad I picked these up. Just wanted to show them to you guys, like I always do. So this, um, took the plastic off first time I've opened it here. And, uh, try to do that when I get stuff. I, I try to, I try to hold off. <laughs> I try to hold off and not open anything and check it out. Uh, before I do it, probably maybe should check things out a little bit, you know, but eh, whatever. It is what it is. Oh, that don't go in there so good. Um, hmm, that's probably one reason why I do it too. It's hard to get everything back together <laughs> the way it's supposed to be. So, uh, don't want to lose that, guys. So I'm going to put this on the shelf behind me. Oh, well, no, let's set it right here for you guys. So, that's it. The Sector Imperialis objectives. If you've been thinking about getting them, I think they're really cool. There's, um, there's some neat little details in some of this. Um, this is right here, as you can see on the picture. See what I meant? You had to paint these on the clear plastic. That's um, that's gonna be a challenge for me. I'm not. I'm not even gonna. Not even gonna try to smooth that one over. That one's gonna be a challenge. Trying to get that nice and everything. Uh, maybe nice. We got some painters tape. <coughs> Excuse me. So maybe I could try that. And do it that way. Just I'll just do my best, I guess. That's all I can do. Um, finish not perfect, right? The best I can. Get it the best I can. And then you can see right there, there's the glass. They have, um, obviously, they've gone over that with a airbrush. A little splurt there and a splurt like there. And kind of giving that a burnt smoked look. That's pretty cool, actually. Uh, get my airbrush working again. I got a not sure exactly what's going on with it. Get it working again. That would be that would be something nice to attempt to do. Uh, there's the bed. We can get that, and we'll have our we'll have a space marine on ours, which would be cool. Actual cool addition. I was thinking. I was thinking. I don't have them, and um, I probably am going to get these things built up before I get them because that's just just how it goes with me, right? But I was thinking the um, Space Marine Casualties would be awesome to um, build objectives with this because uh, you have the one guy who's laying flat 
you could he would work really well for this because you can lay him outside of it. Um, I'm not sure about the size difference, so that might not 100% work. But if it did, that would be cool. Laying hit the one guy laying flat. And then you have the guy who is um, he's uh, the long did one in skull. He's got the bolter shells around him with the orc skull. Uh, that would be really cool to be like around some of these ammo bins here, you know. And then you have the other one, he's like mortally wounded, but he's still firing his bolter. And I thought that would be an awesome one to be like on the, on the base with this exterminatus device. Like, he, he's trying to protect it, you know, it's about to go off. I think they, I don't know if those numbers are on there. It's seven seconds is what they've left on the timer. But, um, <clears throat> you know, put the, put the, have the timer and um, him close by it on the base there. And like, he's, he's going down fighting, you know, knowing... The exterminator's bomb is about to go off, but he's protecting it so that he can, you know, save the planet, you know, wipe it of this uh, vile infestation or what. And if I guess if you had a big enough base, you could, um, I don't know, throw griblies on there, uh, tyranids, uh, or maybe some orcs or something like that, you know, that were trying to get to him and uh, the device before it uh, went off. That would be pretty cool. Pretty cool uh, scenic that you could do with those those things together with the, the space marine casualties, this little thing, and then some some Xenos type creatures of any type you wanted. Really, could be some Eldar Harlequins. That would if you had a, a nice. You could make a nice scene with that. Uh, some of the city terrain, and then um, this bomb there, and some Harlequins like popping off the walls of the buildings, trying to get at him, shooting at him, and he's shooting back keeping the bomb safe until it detonates that would be that would be cool <laughs> above my skill level of challenge of doing but maybe one day it would be something i'd like to attempt you know pop another box of this get the casualties and um, do some stuff like that that would be pretty interesting all right guys well i have rambled on way too long about this this is a cool little box it's very interesting uh it's definitely something um even if you didn't use it for objectives these would really really be awesome for both uh, little dioramas maybe that you were doing for a painting challenge or something or to add to your terrain to spice things up definitely for your buildings to give maybe some certain ruined buildings like they had some different purpose especially things like this right here would be really cool this would be cool on the top of buildings uh, like some communication device set up uh, to bring in rescue ships or something like that and of course the ammo bins uh, if they just did this ammo thing right, if they just did like, if that was on one sprue all by itself and they just sold that sprue of ammo bins, people probably would buy those up like um, all day every day, right? By the dozen. So that would be cool as well. Alrighty guys, uh, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. I have some more videos. I did pick up some more stuff from the store and um, I'll have those up. And of course I'll continue on with the regular scheduled, well, Regular programming that needs to be more scheduled. How about that? Let's say it like it is. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Thank you very much, and I'll talk to you later.